I just want to conclude by saying from the National Assembly and Parliament, we shall do and endeavor to do whatever it will take. If there are laws that we need to change, it will not take us more than three weeks to do public participation and push those bills or amendments that we need to do. Because we must rescue, as you said, Your Excellency, a generation of young people that is going to waste. In another 10 to 15 years, this region will not have any productive young people. We pride ourselves in, as a region that we are enterprising, we are productive, and we are many. But I was being challenged because when some other data was projected here, and I'm sitting next to my governor, Governor Wamatangi, Kiambu was leading with the highest number of bars, highest number of uh, wines and spirit shops, uh, highest number of bars and restaurants. And I was telling my governor, these bars and restaurants is basically a bar with a bowl of smokies, smoky sausages, and they are licensed. <laughs> but then the other presenter came on education, the regional director of education. And we noticed with my governor that between 2019 and 2020, there was an upsurge of ECD students or pupils being registered in ECDs. Then the member of parliament for Nyeri Town and Omba Ukanini Kega said that Isio Siana Morashi Arerone Ado Ageti Siyanyo. But I want to confirm, Your Excellency, that those children in Kiambu are our children. <laughs> we are siring those children. It is not outsiders who are siring those children for us. And we want to continue siring these children, Your Excellency. And therefore, I am saying that because Kiambu, we must look at Kiambu in a very special way because we have many challenges. Ruaka in Kiamba constituency, Your Excellency, and you were there when you were campaigning in Ruaka about a year and a half ago. Ruaka today is worse than Mombasa City was years ago in terms of hard drugs.